too clean. Spa day. What? Going to the spa? Spa, yeah. Well, SPA <laughs> Turbo. We got, we've used their parts before, um, and they did release a few new things for the 07K stuff. And we know you guys like to see 07K content, so do I. Um, but we got a few, we got an order with a few of their new products. We wanted to show you kind of more of a detailed, uh, lots of guys are posting pictures and stuff of them online. We want to show you guys more detailed video footage of kind of each item, kind of comparing it to the old turbo manifold. Um, so let's get to it. So this would be the original uh, bottom mount turbo manifold. For and longitudinal, right? Well, Transverse. this, yeah, I think it probably works on both, to be honest. A lot of guys did run it on transverse engines. And in fact, the Mark VI Golf 2.5 that you would have seen on the channel that we put standalone and stuff, it ran this exact manifold on it. It's doable. It's very doable. Uh, the issue with these manifolds, although it's a really nice design, it just puts the turbo in a weird um, set up for the intake. It kind of sets the turbo underneath the intake or the exhaust manifold. So the intake part of it is very tight. Uh, it can be done obviously, uh, but it you takes a, it. I did it. Did well it. on that one, the intake that was, that came on it originally, um, it was really small. So I had to change some things. Anyways, it can be done. This is the old one. However, this one is the new top mount. We haven't had it on a car yet or an engine yet to know exactly how it fits. They do show a couple pictures on their website and stuff. And they even have this with an adapter to fit on uh, Mark IVs and oh. S3s. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, but again, I don't know how that's going to fit exactly on these cars. We haven't done it. However, as I mentioned on this channel before, we're going to do an, an 07K swap on my uh, daily, basically a Mark VI R. We got almost everything now. I'm waiting on uh, connecting rods and injectors, and the injectors are already on the way, and the rods are just shortly behind it. So probably by the end of the month, well, I say that by the end of the month, I wanted to start working on the engine, doing the teardown and doing the rebuild on the 2.5. Um, but I am going on vacation, so who knows if that's going to happen, but it's coming very closely. And when you say, say, we say daily, it's like... It's well, it's a, buried it's in snow big, right now. And, and this is a bigger horsepower daily. It's not like a... Yeah, but it is going to be, the plan is for that car to try to make around 600 wheel horsepower, probably drive it on the street around 500. And drive uh, it daily. And drive it daily, and it's going to be on standalone. So all of those things that people are like, oh, I want to keep it a daily, I don't want to ruin it. You can totally do so, you just got to put the right parts on it. Um, so the old manifold, again, it was a T3 flange. It uses the, used a 38 mil uh, two bolt older style wastegate. The new turbo manifold, top mount, it's using a 44 millimeter gate. Um, and it does have really good uh, primary for the wastegate, which is really good. Fitment, again, I haven't used it on an engine yet to know like how everything's gonna fit. It's obviously all gonna be really close based on the, the way it's designed to get the turbo on, on the top of this engine. Um, but they obviously built it to fit, so we'll have to see how that does when it, when time comes, I guess. Yeah, see if it fits. See if it fits? I see suspect it, fits. it should fit. It should fit. So I do plan on with this manifold, um, we're gonna try to make 600 wheel horsepower with it. I think it'll be capable of doing so, but as the, as the old saying goes, time will tell. Um, and the valve cover, this is pretty much very similar to what's been available for the 07K and the billet option, i.e. used to, or still offers one. Um, this is just a cast version of that. A little more budget friendly. A little more budget friendly, and it budget definitely is. Friends, yeah. The cost of it is uh, quite a bit cheaper. It does have baffling for the breather. And it did come powder coated black like this as well. So uh, that's pretty much how you're getting it if you order it. And then the last big one, really, and, and, and we're going to show. And it is a big one. It is very big. It's huge. It, it's, like, I got, I got like foot long hands here. And the weird part about this is it's kind of on, there's additional parts that I have jammed inside there. So um, on its own, it's like, it's, 
It's massive. It's massive and looks very weird. But in the engine bay, much like a 2.5, you're kind of seeing like this much of it. So it looks really at home in there. I have seen the odd guy that has, the, has them installed already. And they might even have pictures on their website. Um, this sort of intake manifold, if you try to fire one of these on with stock tune, you're likely probably going to see a decrease in horsepower. Sweet. Uh, but it's not meant for that. It's meant for a proper tune for the intake manifold or in most people's cases, I would assume, turbocharging them. So we're going to kind of go through, show you the ins and outs of all of it. Um, so I can't really tell you like this is going to make X amount of horsepower or anything like that because we haven't done an NA tune uh, with a 2.5. One thing I can tell you, it's definitely going to hold a little bit more boost pressure than that plastic one. You're 100% correct. It and that's, that's, that's that. what's for. Put this on a booster car. I mean, it does say turbo right on it. Yeah. That's, that's part of their it. name. But there would definitely be guys that would uh, run these with an NA proper tune that should see some decent gains with them comparatively to the stock intake manifold. The cool thing with any of these, if you want to put a bigger turbo on, obviously you can get some adapters for these to V-band or to T4, right? T3, T4. Yeah, that would or, probably not... I mean, you totally can, yes. Clayton is 100% right. However, we have lots of adapters and we use them um, where we switch to a V-band turbine housing. So it's just a T3 to V-band housing. In fact, that's what I'd be using on mine. Um, and I'm planning on running a G900 on mine. So, uh, what? Yeah. Really? I didn't yeah. know that. Oh, yes, that's yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gotcha, G900. gotcha. Yeah. 2.5, 07K, G900. Um, the flange Daily. itself, Daily. Daily. The flange itself on this manifold is a little bit thinner than this one. I'm sure that probably has to do with fitment issues and stuff like that, trying to get that away from the firewall as much as possible because the waste is going to sit way back here. And what's this for a tile, right? Tile wastegate? Yeah, any like 44 mil uh, size wastegate. So Clayton get lots of B-roll inside the runners, um, the, the matting surface. They, it looks like they utilize like the, we didn't talk about any of this, I don't think, like the stock O-ring. Yep. ringing for the manifold as well for the throttle body and for the yep. uh, runners as well so yep. kind of cool you can just go to the dealer or hit yep. up your nothing local aftermarket special. parts guy and get that stuff ordered as well so it's nothing yeah super special yep so um and again it comes with the uh let's struggle here clayton will have to probably edit that out but no, I'm leaving, it leaving it in there it comes with some uh, breather hoses and brackets and stuff like that. So it, it comes can't with see, everything. Can't see anything in can't there. Can't see anything no, in there? Okay, well, not opening it up. We've opened it enough far enough. And it comes with standard port injection um, stuff. So, again, Clayton, get, we'll show some more B-roll of inside the runners and stuff like that. Uh, the casting all in all, there's nothing too crazy inside of it. Uh, but we'll show you, the, show you more of that in a second. And it hits a certain price point, so this isn't... This yeah, is, I don't. This is an affordable price. Point. Yeah, this isn't like you know, um, the IE intake manifold or or custom stuff or custom or like in my scenario, it, like my plans on mine, I'm going to put the TTRS intake manifold on it. So like, this kind of comes in more of a budget friendly option, especially having cast turbo manifolds to fit on these engines with options now. Both of them. We know definitely work. Um, if I were choosing one for horsepower, the runners look really thick on this one. But with this one, um, number one cylinder, comparatively, um, this is going to have more overall better flow. Uh, and then the valve cover, like I said, there's been quite a few options for these over the years. This is just another option that comes in a little bit better price point. People would obviously know this, but with any of this stuff, you, you're, and I think you kind of mentioned earlier, is you're not putting this stuff on and just running. Obviously, you need the supporting mods and. You know, well, yeah, ECU you could run the tune. intake manifold to, but yeah, I, I suspect the flow of this and the volume, you probably would see less horsepower. It would be close, but it needs to be tuned properly to take advantage of it. So, guys that are going out and buying these just to put them on, with an intake or whatever, expecting to make more horsepower. It's not likely gonna happen. Spend the money and get a proper intake manifold tuned for it. And where can people get this stuff? Can they get it from you? Get it? Yeah, we have a handful of these in stock, um, but you can also get it directly from SBA Turbo. Clayton, kind of just what you're talking about is, it sparked the memory and kind of the point of this. Um, 
some of this stuff, like the intake manifold or this, there's not the supporting parts that go with it. So for the intake, for example, you might have to modify something. I think for the most part, you can get most aftermarket intakes are going to adapt or with slight modification adapt for this. But when it comes to the turbo manifolds, for example, there is no downpipe or charge piping or turbo setups or anything like that available to kind of match all this. We will be building a turbo kit for at least one for this, in, or so, sorry, for this turbo manifold and this intake manifold. So my question out there, I don't do, I, the only turbo kits I typically build are in-house for customers that are here, the cars that I have here. But I wanna put the question out there, is there any interest if we built a turbo kit to match this turbo manifold and this intake manifold, meaning we would do the downpipe, the intake, and the charge piping to make all of this work. And then obviously offer you guys all the options as well for standalone and other supporting yeah. stuff. Yeah. But yes, just as a basic kit to get you going. Yeah, so we would provide the intake manifold, the exhaust manifold, the downpipe, the charge piping, um, in the intake, everything to make it a kit, as in like oil lines, everything. So if you have any interest, maybe I should have mentioned at the beginning of the video, we're not sure 100% if we're gonna do it, but I am going to be building at least one kit like that, and there's potential to make it available to people. So let us know what you think. If you have any questions or comments about any of these parts, uh, be sure to ask below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, Clayton. I, I think he's probably had way more beer than I expected. Is there anything I'm forgetting? Beers. <laughs> <laughs> See you in the next video. People obviously know this, but maybe they don't. Again. Play. No, maybe no, they don't. no, no. I'm gonna start that again. Okay. Let's get to do more, some more comparison. Clayton's drinking beer behind the camera, and I'm not a beer guy. I'm a rum guy, and it stinks. Yeah, and I've already <laughs> dropped one. It's already dro Already wasted one. Yeah. I just rambled on about these things. What? Have I forgotten? What what should I in, what should I add to this? You put me on the spot, man. I, you time. do it to me like every time we turn this camera yeah, well, on. What, like, what's that? Oh, I know what that <laughs> is. Well, I, I don't know. Like we're fucked. Clayton, what am I forgetting? Like, subscribe. No, no. Is the there anything else we want to add to this? Yeah, you you, you fail me. You I fail me. <laughs> You're drunk. I'm not. <laughs> He's had one and a half beer and he's drunk. I had a Caesar too. You did? Yeah. When? Before you got here? No, over, over there. You had a, oh, right when you got here. Yeah. Man, he's drunk. He's drunk behind the camera. I got you to put up with you. Um, valid.